this adventure, I found this a couple days ago. Oh, that's not a good sign. So I found this one on LiDAR maps. And I was obsessing over it for the last couple days. And I just had to see it. Okay, so I just turned this corner. There it is in the background. That's the top of it, whatever it is. This thing is about 180 feet deep. All right, so there it is. I can see it through the trees. We're gonna go see what this stuff is. Welcome to this adventure. My name is Jeff at the Trek Planner. Happy to see you again. So glad you're here. Uh, for this adventure, I found this a couple days ago and I was obsessing over it for the last couple days and I just had to see it. So here I am, ready to go and see what this thing is. On Google Maps and other maps, it looks like this thing is about 180 feet deep. That's pretty crazy. It's a beautiful morning as you can tell. Uh, it's still not 115 degrees, it's still only 90 degrees. So that's a bonus about doing stuff earlier in the day. Um, but I'm very prepared and I'm excited to see what this thing is. So let's get going. Oh, that's not a good sign. Looks like it's been here for a long time, huh? This journey brought me once again to a quiet mesa of pinyon pine and juniper trees. This was my first time at this location, one I hadn't discovered on Google Earth and other map engines until recently. Okay, so I just turned this corner. There it is in the background. That's the top of it, whatever it is. That is the very top of it. It looks like a big pit. Oh, wow. This thing is massive. Oh, wow. Whoa, here's the bottom. Wow. That is crazy. How do you get down there? Oh, wow. That is a deep. people. <laughs> wow. That is pretty deep. Look at these massive layers though. Like those are big bands of stone and layers. Okay, so I saw a sign over here. So it's a nice fence so people don't come up and just ride straight off. Wow. Do I dare walk out there? Wow. Again, juniper berries. Eat these when you're starving out in the desert. They taste like pine needles. But hey, if you're hungry, you're gonna eat a million of these. <laughs> okay, so I came up the wrong way. Okay, oh, uh, eagle stink, cool. 
there's the kitchen. I'm going to go up this way to get some better views of it. I'm gonna be looking at the ground. I don't wanna fall in. But it just makes me wonder what else is around here just ready to crumble down into a sink. Probably some other stuff, huh? This place is eerily quiet. Even though I've seen birds, there's no sounds, just the wind. Yeah, it's kind of creepy out here. Whoa. I wonder if anybody's repelled down in here. I bet they have. I mean, I figured people knew about this, of course. This is kind of a big thing. Um, but it kind of makes me wonder, you know, like, I'm sure the ancients knew about this too. Like, this is such a huge landmark. Um, but I wonder what they thought about this place. I'm gonna get the drone out so we can get some cool pictures and videos above it.
So how did this form? So from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, as the rain comes down, that's slightly acidic from like the carbon dioxide, the water comes down, hits the ground through all the stone, and the water will dissolve that limestone or gypsum, making these big caverns. And then the top of those caverns crumble because they're, they're hollow underneath it, making these huge caverns. This is, a, this is probably one of the biggest ones I've seen. This was a really fun and unique adventure. And even though it's a it's a well-known established place, it was new to us. It was definitely new to me. I had no idea about it until a couple days ago. And uh, now we know what it is. It's a really big sinkhole. And that's kind of the nature of Google Earth exploration is that we don't really know what's out there until we are out there. Um, but I'm thankful that you joined me on this adventure. I hope you're able to get out on your own treks and do some exploring. Thank you for your comments. It just means the world to me that you have helped me make this channel what it is. So thank you so much. See you on the next adventure. Keep on trekking.